Hey, Alan. I'm home. <laughs> After 15,000 miles, five months on the road. And I'm putting my clothes away, and I'm thinking for my road stats, I bought some t shirts on the trip. I even count them. And also, I'm thinking there's like stories buying all the t shirts. So here we go. First up, Laramie, Wyoming. Of course, the cowboy symbol of the state, the university. Uh, think of it, uh, my cousins and David and Laurie, who I got to hang out with, who are there, who are just great people, tell great stories. They're huge, huge cowboy fans, and I could not uh, pass up the opportunity to remember them with a Cowboys t-shirt. I wore this a lot on the trip. I bought it at Walmart, I have to admit there, Walmart and Laramie. Next up, from Cottonwood, Idaho, you've probably seen the pictures of Dog Bark Park. But yeah, that was the home uh, workshop of Dennis, I can't remember his last name, doing all the wood carvings of dogs and had that giant uh, 20 some foot two story bed and breakfast that was built like a giant beagle. Dog Bark Park, a unique place, Idaho. Breweries, Laughing Dog Brewery, Sandpoint, Idaho. I was getting my uh, truck serviced and it was quite several hours and I said, there's no use sitting in this dealership. So I took a walk and literally across the street and maybe down a block, I came across the home of Laughing Dog Brewing. Hung out for uh, one or two IPAs. Um, nice spot. Couldn't really get anybody interested in talking for the story box, but uh, hell of a t-shirt. Next up, all the way across the country. Wow, I didn't seem to get any Canadian t-shirts. I'm going to have to deal with that. But on the nostalgia path, I went back to uh, Newark, Delaware, where I did my undergrad. And, of course, had to go to the Deer Park Tavern, where I met my good friends and colleagues, Paul and Debbie. Had a good lunch, good conversation, memories of uh, the Deer Park, which was apparently... Supposedly, Edgar Allan Poe stayed there one night. I think that is their claim to fame, but there's crows everywhere. Uh, I remember the Deer Park as just kind of a, not a really pretty establishment. Lots of wood and smells like beer and urine and uh, loud music. At the Deer Park, I think I ever had my first plate of nachos. Now, nachos are kind of staple items uh, across the country now, but in 1984, 85... Man, Mexican food was not big on the East Coast. So my first uh, exposure to the world of giant plates and nachos was at the Deer Park. Then, 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 highlight of my trip, going to the Snyder's Pretzel Factory in Hanover, Pennsylvania. And yeah, it was a totally twisted visit. Got the full uh, factory tour. Bought my big box of pretzels that uh, carried me a few miles down the road. I love my pretzels. And last on the t-shirt brigade. You can see they need some washing here. Um, uh, good stop at Penn State. See my friend Cole and Kevin. And of course, Cole, we always go to Otto's. Some of the best beer you can find. Otto's rules. Otto's good time. Especially, especially the Double D. That stuff is killer. In fact, they were out the night I was at Cole's. So, Cole, man. I got to come back to get some more Double D in State College. And those are my Road Odyssey t-shirts.